I can't think of a poem, song, or story that perfectly captures the complexities of abandonment and abuse in the way that Stanley Kunitz's poem, The Portrait, does. The tragic historical weight juxtaposed with the immediacy of the final visceral line makes the poem almost sentient. It reads like a cursed and living document, timeless in its grief, pain, and conception, in a manner similar to Sisyphus or Oedipus. Here's the poem in full. My mother never forgave my father for killing himself, especially at such an awkward time and in a public park that spring when I was waiting to be born. She locked his name in her deepest cabinet and would not let him out, though I could hear him thumping. When I came down from the attic with the pastel portrait in my hand of a long-lipped stranger with a brave mustache and deep brown level eyes, she ripped it into shreds without a single word and slapped me hard. In my 64th year, I can feel my cheek still burning. While the very portrait in the attic of Kunitz's poem may echo Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray in significance, the poem is far less an allegory than it is a haunting personal legend, as Kunitz would call it. More importantly, the poem brings about a conflict for most, if not all, readers. While that final visceral line strikes the hardest, it's almost impossible not to sympathize with both Kunitz and his mother. You have a young woman abandoned in her most vulnerable state by her husband who kills himself after going bankrupt. Then you have a lost and innocent child stumbling upon a painting of his father he has never known and will never know, only to be slapped so hard by his mother that the shock and pain become a watermark on the rest of his life. The remnants of his father's suicide hover above both mother and child, a cursed revenant who refuses to ever leave and the mother's compounding grief and consequent abuse don't seem a singular instance in the poem, but one that the boy will have to reckon with his entire life in various guises. One can't help but be reminded of the grief we all inherit from our parents' unrequited ghosts in Kunitz's masterful poem. As children, so many of us spend a lifetime desperate to exercise the specters that hounded our mothers and fathers. They lurk in the vestiges of memories, in the darkened corners of dreams, and drown us with their dead weight if we don't learn to be strong enough to break their incessant grip. Born in 1905, Stanley Kunitz became the Poet Laureate of the United States in the autumn of 2000 at the tender age of 95. He once remarked on the inscrutable power of poetry in an interview documented by the Poetry Foundation. Quote, by its nature, poetry is an intimate medium. Perhaps that's why it is so dangerously seductive to the creative spirit. The transformation of individual experience, the transpersonalization of the persona, if you will, is work that the imagination has to do. My conviction is that poetry is a legendary, not an anecdotal, art. Perhaps the beauty of poetry and literature and much of art is that it lifts notion of right and wrong into the realm of tragedy. And certainly that's not to rationalize trauma or abuse, not at all, and I can speak to that directly from my own experience. But the sorrow and sympathy one finds in a song, story, or poem becomes a kind of communion that inspires a desire to transcend the despair that can hover above our lives. And Stanley Kunitz's poem, The Portrait, is no exception. In fact, it may very well be a perfect example. What poem, song, or story about abuse or abandonment resonates with you the most did it set you free at all? Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'd love to hear from you.